Okay, now it's time to construct and pre-process the corpus. So we'll start by loading the TM package with library of TM. And now that we've done that, we'll construct a variable called corpus using the corpus and vector source functions and passing in all of the emails in our data set, which is emails dollar sign email. Okay, so now that we've constructed the corpus, we can output the first email in the corpus. We'll start out by calling the str wrap function to get it on multiple lines. And then we can select the first element in the corpus using the double square bracket notation and selecting element one. And we can see that this is exactly the same email that we saw originally, the email about the working paper. All right, so now we're ready to pre-process the corpus using the TM map function. So first, we'll convert the corpus to lowercase using TM map and the to lower function. So we'll have corpus is equal to TM map of corpus and pass it along to lower. All right, and then we'll do the exact same thing except removing punctuation. So we'll have corpus is equal to TM map of the corpus with remove punctuation. Okay, we'll remove the stop words. With remove words function, and we'll pass along the stop words of the English language as the words we want to remove. And lastly, we're going to stem the document. So if corpus is equal to TM map of corpus with the stem document function. Okay, and now that we've gone through those four pre-processing steps, we can take a second look at the first email in the corpus. So we'll again call str wrap on corpus selecting the first email. And now it looks quite a bit different. If we come up to the top here, it's a lot harder to read now that we removed all the stop words and punctuation and word stems, but now the emails in this corpus are ready for our machine learning algorithms.